Congressman, let me read you a piece of an op-ed from May 2017. I'll tell you who it was. Um, the headline was former Attorney General uh, Trump made the right call on Comey. And this is, it was in the Washington Post. When Comey announced the outcome of the FBI investigation into Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server while Secretary of State, he crossed a line that is fundamental to the allocation of authority in the Justice Department. That was written by William Barr. That was, that was Bill Barr. Yes, the person who President right. Trump announced yesterday is going to be is his nominee to be the next Attorney General of the United States. What's your view on on Bill Barr? I would be concerned about anybody that Trump appointed because right now his main concern is getting somebody that will take care of him, be his his Roy Cohn, right? Personally, his, his consigliari. He said that there, you could go after. Hillary Clinton on Uranium One, all these mm -hmm. right-wing conspiracies he's bought into. I'm since concerned you, about Bill Barr. Since we're on the Judiciary Committee, real quickly, last night our colleague Lawrence O'Donnell said that impeachment should be the focus of the Democrats coming in next month. You're on Judiciary. You're a member of Congress. From everything that we've seen, especially with the filings yesterday, do you think impeachment should be on the table when you, t when you become the majority next month? Well, let me say this. H.R.E.S. 621, which I authored and filed, is an impeachment resolution. We put it in in November of 2017. Mm -hmm. It now has 17 co-sponsors after a year and after a lot of work. Uh, if anything is put in at any time in 2019, it's going to take a lot of work to get more sponsors on it. This is the most impeachable president ever, and the facts need to come out to show the American public that he has committed offenses. I think what he's done in trying to coerce witnesses or influence witnesses with his tweets, if he makes any pardons, that would be considered possibly obstruction of justice. And I think there's no question that Mueller has him dead to rights on Russia. I think there are probably recordings and there will be smoking guns that will come out and then it'll be like Watergate. And with that, we're going to have to leave it there. Congressman Steve Cohen of Tennessee, thank you very much for being on the show. You're welcome, Jonathan. Thank you for having me. Dr.